DaVinci Resolve for noobs. If you're working on a project in DaVinci Resolve and all your different clips have different audio attached that are at different levels and you want to try to get them all balanced, what you want to do is select all of those audio clips in your timeline, right click and go up to normalize audio levels. Now by default, it'll look something like this using the sample peak program option. You can set the target decibel level, let's say minus three, and then you can choose relative or independent. And the difference between the two is relative is going going to take the highest decibel peak of all of those clips and use it as a reference point and treat all of those clips as one giant clip and bring them up so they peak at that target level as a whole. But if you use independent, what it'll do is it'll take all of them and shoot for that target level independently. Now, if you're trying to make sure that your video sounds good on YouTube, what you can do is scroll down to the YouTube option. Not only will it automatically set the overall target decibel level to minus one, but it'll set the target loudness or LUFS to minus four. 14. Hit normalize and now your audio will be optimized for playback on YouTube. As we've discussed before, if you are targeting YouTube, make sure you open up your project settings, scroll down to Fairlight and make sure that you have the target loudness of the entire project set for minus 14 LUFs. And on YouTube itself, you can actually open up one of your videos, right click on it, go down to stats for nerds and you can actually see not only the overall level of the playback that you currently have YouTube at, but to the right of that, you can see the DRC, the dynamic range compression being applied to your particular video. If your video is too loud, YouTube is going to throw compression on it and that can change the sound of your audio and playback. So in a perfect world, when we're uploading a video to YouTube, we'd actually like to see at full volume, zero decibels of dynamic range compression being applied to our audio. That'll ensure that your audio sounds the same to your viewers as it did to you when you were editing it.